My name is Emily McNabb. I teach at the Hills Health Club and Wellness Center in Austin, Texas. And today I just wanted to give you some hints about transitions in Suri Namaskar A. So to begin a salutation, start at the top of the mat, coming into Tadasana Mountain Pose. In Tadasana Mountain Pose, we have our toes touching and our heels just slightly apart so the outsides of our feet are parallel. And then have a downward engagement of the tailbone and then an upward engagement of the belly button. So you, your core is nice and engaged. The arms down alongside the body, the palms face forward, the chin just slightly tucked, a nice broad chest. You want to feel released here and with strong alignment at the same time. So from Tadasana Mountain Pose, inhale as you bring the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, stretch the arms out, bring the chest out and then all the way down, coming in Uttanasana Forward Fold. From Uttanasana Forward Fold, make sure that the body is nice and heavy and the legs still straight. Place the hands on the shins and reach the crown of the head forward, still with that downward engagement of the belly button. Just stretching the spine and lengthening the spine out. Taking a deep inhale, and as you exhale, fold back down over the legs, bringing the chin all the way back down. From Uttanasana forward fold again, place the hands down on the ground, step one foot back, and then step the other foot back, coming into plank pose. In plank pose, it's important to remember that the hands are right underneath the shoulders. So the first transition that you can take for your vinyasa is lower the knees down to the mat and untuck the toes. Then lower the chest and the chin down to the ground and arching the back. Then slide the chest forward. Lift the chest off of the ground just a few inches and the hands stay underneath the shoulders. It's important to remember that the gaze is on the ground here in your cobra pose and the toenails are on the mat. So you're not crunching that lumbar spine, it's just a lengthening. Taking a deep inhale here. Exhale, fold back down onto the mat. Tuck the toes back behind you. Send the hips all the way to the heels, and then simply straighten the legs coming into your downward dog, your upside down triangle. From downward dog, bend the knees, look in between the hands, and step heel toe to the top of the mat. Just stretch the back. Place the hands on the shins, reach the crown of the head forward, coming back into that flat back. And as you exhale, lower back down over the legs. Inhale the arms up overhead once again, just as you began. And as you exhale, bring the hands down through Anjali Mudra and then back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. So the second variation for Suri Namaskar A involves Chaturanga Dandasana. So begin the exact same way you did in the first variation in Tadasana Mountain Pose. The toes touch the heels slightly apart, the tailbone drop, the belly button lift, Shoulders release down, palms face forward. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Look in between the hands. As you exhale, fly the chest forward and then down over the legs. Uttanasana, forward fold. Place the hands on the shins. Reach the head forward, lengthen the spine. Take in an inhale. And as you exhale, folding back down over the legs. Plant the hands down, bend the knees. And step one foot back, the other foot back to plank pose. From plank pose, Inhale for your vinyasa, and as you exhale, lower halfway down in one piece. Keep the body above the ground, and then inhale up to your upward dog. Lifting the hips and the knees in upward dog, so that you're not crunching the lower back, and then exhale back to downward dog. From downward dog, take in about three inhales. And whenever you're done with your breathing sequence, bend the knees, look in between the hands, and step back to the top of the mat. To end Suri Namaskar A, place the hands on the shins, reach the head forward, take it another inhale. Exhale, fold back down over the legs. Inhale the arms back up overhead. And as you exhale, bring the hands through Anjali Mudra and back down to Tadasana. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more videos. Please also go to thehillsfitness.com for more information about classes.